Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 919. Today's quiz was sent in by Trish and Tom. It is Once Upon a Time in Greece. Trish said she is an ancient Greece nerd. She's really good at this stuff. I gotta be honest, I read through it. You're gonna need to know your stuff. I'm calling this one an expert level Greek trivia quiz. So good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. A mortal man was chosen to decide which goddess was the fairest, and they each offered him bribes. Hera, power. Athena, wisdom. And Aphrodite, the most beautiful woman on earth. He chose the woman. Unfortunately, she was married. Who was this man whose decision helped kick off the Trojan War? His name was Paris. Question number two. His name means resolute. He was the king of Mycenae, the brother of the wronged king of Sparta, and the overall commander of the Greek armies gathered to avenge the insult of a Trojan abducting the Spartan queen. Who was this legendary king of kings? The answer is Agamemnon. Question number three. She came by her beauty honestly, being the daughter of Zeus and a beautiful mortal woman. She left her royal husband to elope with the handsome Paris, causing the launch of a thousand ships and the total destruction of Troy. What was her name? The face that launched a thousand ships, her name was Helen. Question number four. Helen's husband was the king of Sparta, and like his brother, he also fought in the Trojan War, leading the Spartan contingent in the ten-year battle. Enraged at Helen's humiliation of him, he was prepared to kill her, but took pity when she begged forgiveness and restored her as his wife. Who was he? His name was Menelaus. Question number five. Helen had her beauty to win the love of any man that she wanted, but Paris had no such advantage. To make sure he got what she had promised, Aphrodite had her son by Ares, god of war, shoot Helen with one of his love-inducing arrows. What was this Greek god's name, the Roman counterpart of Cupid? The Roman counterpart of Cupid was Eros. Question number six. This legendary adventurer is hailed as a hero for slaying the Cretan Minotaur, but a less known and less heroic deed of his was kidnapping the beautiful Helen when she was still a child. Fortunately, she was rescued by her brothers Castor and Pollux. Who was this dubious hero? His name was Theseus. Question number seven. Lovely Leda was bathing by a river when Zeus spotted her and took a fancy to her. Appearing to her in disguise, he either seduced or more likely assaulted her and then she later gave birth to Helen, thus becoming another link in the fall of Troy. In what majestic avian form did Zeus appear? He appeared to Leda as a swan. Question number eight. The Greek ships were set to sail for Troy, but there was no wind. A seer told Agamemnon he must sacrifice his daughter, and he said, If I must slay the joy of my house, my daughter, and he did it. Immediately the wind blew and the ship sailed. What was the name of Agamemnon's sacrificial daughter?
Her name was Iphigenia. Question number nine, Agamemnon's wife was Helen's half-sister, being the daughter of Leda and Tyndareus, the king and queen of Sparta. After Agamemnon departed for Troy and stayed gone for ten years, she began an affair with her husband's cousin. Who was this queen, the mother of Agamemnon's children? Her name was Clytemnestra. Question number 10. The greatest Greek warrior of the Trojan War was the son of a sea nymph who dipped him in the river Styx when he was born, making him invulnerable except for the one heel by which she held him. This tiny flaw led to his death by a lucky shot with a Trojan arrow. Who was this mighty warrior? His name was Achilles. Question number 11. Not content with his own beautiful wife and children, Thyestes seduced his brother Atreus' wife, not expecting Atreus to find out. But Atreus did find out and invited Thyestes to a dinner with a savory stew. Only after his brother had eaten heartily did Atreus reveal that the stew was made of what? The stew was made from Thyestes' children. Question number 12. This son of their king was Troy's greatest warrior until he was slain by Achilles near the end of the war. Achilles, enraged by the number of Greeks the prince had killed, dragged the body behind his chariot for 12 days before allowing the king to reclaim it. Who was this heroic but doomed Trojan warrior? The answer is Hector. Question 13. The epic poems The Iliad about the Trojan War and The Odyssey about the long journey home of one man after the war were written in the late 800s, early 700s BC by a man traditionally said to be blind and regarded as one of the greatest authors of all time. Who was he? The answer is Homer. Question 14. If only they had known and heeded the saying, Beware of Greeks bearing gifts, the Trojans might have fared better in the war. Unfortunately for them, the line comes from the Aeneid, an epic poem written centuries later. As a result, what Greek gift led to their downfall? The answer is the Trojan horse. Question 15. The last king of Troy had many children, including Paris, whose foolishness brought about the city's destruction, and Hector, whose courage held it off for ten years. Who was this king that was killed during the sack of Troy after witnessing the deaths of his sons and the enslavement of his daughter? His name was Priam. Question 16. Agamemnon was forced to sacrifice one daughter, but he did have another, more famous than poor Iphigenia. Plays by both Sophocles and Euripides are named for her, as well as a female version of the Oedipus complex and a Buick. Who is this Mycenaean princess? Her name was Electra. Question 17. When dividing the spoils of war, Agamemnon claimed Priam's daughter as his prize. What was the name of the girl that received the gift of prophecy from Apollo, who, angry when she refused his advances, 
amended the gift so that her prophecies, though 100% accurate, would never be believed. That girl's name was Cassandra. Question 18. Furious about Iphigenia's death, Clemenestra plotted revenge on her husband. She welcomed Agamemnon home, then, when he was in the bath, entangled him in a net and murdered him, then Cassandra afterwards, both with what common household implement? The answer is a knife. Question 19. Outraged at his mother for killing his father, the son of Agamemnon and Clemenestra killed her. For his crime, he was tormented by the Furies for years before being acquitted by Athena, which finally brought about an end to the curse of the house of Atreus. Who was this matricidal prince? His name was Orestes. And question 20. After the war, one Greek king had a hard time getting home, spending another 10 years on the trip. Driven off course by winds, he and his crew were captured by a man-eating cyclops, escaped the sirens, and rode between the monsters Scala and Charbidus. Who was this wandering hero? From the Odyssey, his name was Odysseus. All right, that is it for today's trivia quiz. Thank you again to Trish and Tom for submitting it. I hope the quality of the quiz was not tainted by the terrible narration. I just cannot say some of these names right. I looked them up. I listened to the how to pronounce these names on YouTube. I tried, but for some reason, my mouth does not make the noise that <laughs> accurately depicts the names of these Greek people. So hopefully you were able to struggle through it with little to no effort and hopefully like I said the quality of the quiz was very good hopefully I didn't ruin it by talking this was a really good quiz very well written but very difficult uh, at least for me I don't know how many people are self-described Greek geeks but this was tough for me uh, there is another trivia quiz that we have on this channel. I'll post a link for it at the very end. I would call that one the amateur quiz and the one we did today the expert level quiz. So if you like those, you can play them. We've got a lot of other Greek questions that pop up, especially in the random trivia quizzes and the Friday night pub quizzes. But this one today was specifically Greek, so if you did not know what you were doing, Welcome to the club. I'm in it as well. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's Once Upon a Time in Greece trivia. Tantalus, Atreus's grandfather, cooked his own son and served him at a banquet for the gods. As punishment, he was stood in a pool with a fruit tree over him. When he tried to drink, the water receded. When he tried to eat, the tree grew taller. His name gives us a word that meant to torment with the sight of something unobtainable. What is this word? To torment with the sight of something that is unobtainable. His name was Tantalus. The word is tantalize. And that is it for today. See you tomorrow for Friday Night Pub Quiz, everybody's favorite quiz of the week. Thank you again, Trish and Tom.